Have you ever wondered how a toroidal transformer works? It's a question that has intrigued many of us, and the answer is as fascinating as the device itself. For those unfamiliar with the term, a toroidal transformer is a type of electrical transformer that has a unique donut-shaped design. Its shape is more than just intriguing aesthetics. It serves a very specific purpose. The toroidal form allows the transformer to operate more efficiently, reducing the amount of energy lost during the transformation process. These transformers are not just an interesting piece of technology, they are essential components in a variety of electronic devices that we use every day. From your television to your computer, these devices rely on the efficient energy transformation provided by toroidal transformers. Now what sets these transformers apart from traditional ones? The answer lies in their design and operation. Unlike traditional transformers, which lose energy due to magnetic leakage, toroidal transformers are designed to limit this loss. This results in a more efficient operation, making them the preferred choice for many electronic devices. In addition to their efficiency, toroidal transformers also boast a smaller size compared to their traditional counterparts. This makes them ideal for use in space-constrained environments, further broadening their application range. But how exactly do these transformers work? What's going on inside that donut-shaped device that allows it to transform energy so efficiently? Well, that's exactly what we're going to explore in this video. We'll take you through the workings of a toroidal transformer in a step-by-step -step manner, simplifying the complex processes involved so you can gain a deeper understanding of this remarkable technology. So, buckle up as we delve into the fascinating world of toroidal transformers. Whether you're an electronics enthusiast wanting to broaden your knowledge, or simply curious about the technology that powers your everyday devices, this journey promises to be an enlightening one. Before we understand how a toroidal transformer works, it's crucial to understand its structure. A toroidal transformer, as the name suggests, is shaped like a torus, a fancy term for a donut. This circular shape is more than just aesthetically pleasing. It's a key aspect of the transformer's function. The round design provides a closed-loop magnetic path, which minimizes magnetic leakage and makes the transformer more efficient. Now, let's delve into the heart of the transformer, the toroidal core. This is typically made from a continuous strip of grain-oriented silicon steel or iron powder, wound into a donut shape. This core is the magnetic heart of the transformer, guiding the magnetic field from the primary winding to the secondary winding. Speaking of windings, let's discuss those next. The primary winding is the input side of the transformer. It's here that the alternating current, or AC, first enters the transformer. The number of turns in this winding determines the input voltage. On the other side of the transformer, we have the secondary winding. This is where the transformed or stepped voltage emerges. The number of turns in the secondary winding relative to the primary winding determines whether the transformer steps steps up or steps down the voltage. It's important to understand that these windings aren't just thrown onto the core haphazardly. They're carefully wound around the core in separate layers, with insulation between them to prevent electrical shorting. This winding process is key to the transformer's performance and efficiency. The entire assembly is then encapsulated in a protective casing, often made of metal, to shield it from external damage and interference. This casing also provides a means to safely mount the transformer in its intended application. So to sum up, a toroidal transformer consists of a toroidal core, primary and secondary windings, and a protective casing. Each component plays a vital role in the transformer's operation and efficiency. Now that we know the structure, we can proceed to understand how it works. The first step in the working of a toroidal transformer involves the primary winding. Picture a ring of iron, coiled with copper wire. This is our primary winding. It's here that the magic starts. When we introduce an alternating current into this winding, the game begins. This current isn't static, it's a dance of electrons, ebbing and flowing, oscillating back and forth. As this dance ensues, an incredible phenomenon takes place. The alternating current creates a magnetic field around the winding. It's like an invisible force field, pulsating in sync with the rhythm of the current. The strength of this magnetic field is directly proportional to the current. 
so a stronger current results in a more potent magnetic field. This magnetic field isn't just for show, it plays a crucial role in the operation of the toroidal transformer, setting the stage for the next steps. That's the first step. Now, let's see what happens next. The second step is all about the toroidal core. Imagine the toroidal core as the heart of the transformer, pumping magnetic energy from the primary winding to the secondary winding. When the primary winding is energized, it creates a magnetic field that envelops the toroidal core. This magnetic field induces a similar magnetic field in the toroidal core, a phenomenon known as magnetic induction. It's like a game of tag, where the magnetic field from the primary winding is it, and the core is the next player to be it. Now, let's talk about magnetic flux, the total amount of magnetic field passing through the toroidal core. Think of it as the amount of magnetic energy being pumped through the core. The higher the magnetic flux, the greater the energy transfer from the primary winding to the secondary winding. With the core magnetized, we move on to the next step. The third and final step involves the secondary winding. As the magnetic field fluctuates within the toroidal core, it creates a compelling phenomenon known as electromagnetic induction. This core principle, discovered by Michael Faraday back in the early 19th century, is the driving force behind the working of our toroidal transformer. Now let's look closer at this process. As the magnetic field oscillates, it interacts with the secondary winding. This winding, remember, is separate from the primary winding through which we initially introduced the current. It's crucial to note that no physical electrical connection exists between these two windings. They're linked solely by the magnetic field within the core. As the fluctuating magnetic field sweeps through the secondary winding, it induces a voltage. This is electromagnetic induction in action. The change in the magnetic field generates an electromotive force or voltage in the secondary coil. This voltage then drives a current through the winding, which we can then use for various applications. The beauty of a toroidal transformer lies in its ability to transform voltage levels. The ratio of turns between the primary and secondary windings determines the transformation. If the secondary winding has fewer turns than the primary, it results in a step-down transformer, reducing the voltage. Conversely, if the secondary winding has more turns, we get a step-up transformer, which increases the voltage. It's this clever manipulation of voltage that makes toroidal transformers so versatile. They're pivotal in a range of applications, from power supply units to audio systems, ensuring the right voltage reaches the right place. Now it's important to remember that while the voltage can be transformed, the power remains unchanged. That's a fundamental law of physics, the power going into the transformer equals the power coming out. And that, in essence, is how a toroidal transformer works. So we've journeyed through the inner workings of a toroidal transformer. We've delved into the basic structure of this remarkable component, understanding that it's essentially a donut-shaped ring made from iron powder or ferrite. We've seen how the primary and secondary windings are evenly distributed around the core, reducing the size and weight of the transformer and also limiting electromagnetic interference. We've then taken a deep dive into the way a toroidal transformer works, step by step. We started with the primary winding, where voltage is applied, creating a magnetic field around the core. This magnetic field, we've learned, is what drives the transformation process. Next, we moved on to the secondary winding, where the magic really happens. As the magnetic field from the primary winding cuts through the secondary winding, it induces a voltage. This is the fundamental principle of how a transformer works. The changing magnetic field induces a voltage, or transforms the energy. Finally, we delved into the third and final step, the output. Here we've seen how the induced voltage in the secondary winding can be used to power a device or circuit. This is the culmination of the transformation process the end goal of the toroidal transformer. Each component and each step in the process plays a crucial role in the function of a toroidal transformer. From the toroidal shape that lends itself to efficient energy transformation, to the primary and secondary windings that are responsible for the actual transformation, each element is essential. 
In understanding these steps and components, you've gained insight into the fascinating world of electronics. You've seen how a simple, donut-shaped piece of metal and wire can transform energy, powering the devices we use daily. Remember, the world of electronics is fascinating, and understanding it even more so. Thanks for joining in today, and stay tuned for more exciting topics. If you like the content, please like and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates.